The machine recount will wrap up three high-stakes races. Unless it's still so close, a hand recount is needed for one or more of them. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mary Grace Scully. And I'm Samantha Serban. A week after the election, Florida is still waiting for results in the Senate, Governor, and Agricultural Commission of Races. WUFT's Dolores Hankley has been closely following the recount and joins us now live from the newsroom. The main reason for a machine recount is to catch both overvotes when more than one candidate was marked and undervotes when the ovals were simply left blank. These disparities are what could make or break each race. And for Alachua and Marion counties, those results are already, already in. In Alachua County, machine recounts for the Florida Senate race show 19 overvotes and 779 undervotes. The race for governor shows 108 overvotes and 738 undervotes. And the race for agriculture commissioner comes up in with a whopping three 3,754 undervotes. But keep in mind, sometimes people will deliberately skip some races, especially on the long ballot. Now in Marion County, the pattern was similar. The results show 36 overvotes and 1,231 undervotes in the Senate race. For governor, there are 422 overvotes and 885 undervotes. And the race for agriculture commissioner show eight overvotes and 4,198 undervotes. Counties have until Thursday at 3 p.m. to turn in their result, their recount results. If a hand recount is then needed for any race, that process usually focuses on ballots the machines have been reading as overvotes. They'll look at that tiny fraction by hand to see if the markings clearly show a single preference and should count. Reporting live from the newsroom, Dolores Hinckley, WUFT News.